Time is running out to prepare for Hurricane Laura. More than a half million people now ordered to leave their homes near the Texas-Louisiana state line. Many are scrambling to board up windows and doors before they leave. But others will weather the storm. Laura is expected to make landfall as a major hurricane. Chief Meteorologist Don Slater explains what that means for the Gulf Coast. Don. It means an unsurvivable storm uh, in parts of Louisiana especially. I wanna, that's what the Weather Service has categorized it as, uh, especially in terms of the storm surge. Here's a look at the eye of the storm. I've widened it out just a little bit. These are visible daylight satellite imagery uh, and you can see what's going on in this time lapse loop. We can see right down uh, the eye of the storm and there are little concentric circles within it as that wobbles its way onto the northwest at 15 to 20 miles an hour and you can see a, a really, really well formed hurricane uh, going on. It's really intensified just in the past 24 hours. They're getting some outer bands of rainfall that are producing brief uh, torrential downpours and wind all the way on up into northern Louisiana, central and northern Louisiana, areas to the north of Houston as well. And as we widen the picture out, you can see the movement over the past several hours from 1 o'clock this afternoon on up to the present time. Here's the latest on the storm. 145 mile an hour winds, category 4 storm. It intensifies just a bit more, and I would not doubt that it could not be uh, a little closer to category 5 uh, with, with 157 mile an hour winds coming up later on tonight. It'll be just east of the state line. There's the state line right on through here, uh, and then uh, making its way northward along the state line of, of Louisiana and Texas overnight. That's where it is at 8 o'clock in the morning. Uh, at 1 o'clock in the afternoon, it's weakened considerably just east of Shreveport. There's where it is coming up by late tomorrow night. It's a tropical storm by that point, and then it continues to weaken at generally 30, 35 mile an hour winds. Not a huge event for us. We'll have to watch it carefully as it makes its way on out to sea and away from our part of the world. We'll take, we'll take another little bit different look at what's going on with this storm system as it makes its way toward Lake Charles. That'll be coming up in just a few minutes, so stay with us with the forecast. All right, Don. Well, hurricane season is far from over. Make sure you are prepared in case the next storm is headed our way. With this year's Hurricane Ready Guide, you can do that. It has information about what to put in your disaster kit, how to prepare pets, and how to find out your zone. All important information on wavy.com.